Thank you, Dr. Karpetian. My name is Vache Sapanian with today's GUSC News for November 2nd. Glendale Unified School District launched the COVID-19 dashboard. This is an online database reporting the number of confirmed coronavirus cases among the district students and staff on its campuses and work locations. The dashboard is available on the Glendale Unified website at www.gusc.net slash COVID-19 dashboard. The dashboard data will be updated regularly and includes the total number of on-campus students and staff cumulative and current confirmed cases and positively and on-site transmission rates for every district school and work and work location in order to protect students and employee privacy. The dashboard does not include names or personal information. The Glendale Unified encourages families to be proactive and to reinforce the importance of hand washing, physical distancing, and face covering. Glendale Unified Superintendent Dr. Vivian Action says, quote, as we continue to, as we continue the careful and deliberate return of our highest need students for on-campus childcare and instruction, we're counting on our students, families, and employees to help us by taking responsible measures to protect our entire Glendale Unified School District." End quote. Superintendent Dr. Vivian Action received a flu shot recently along with district, district staff. Make sure you are prepared for the flu season. To learn more about the flu season this year, head to our Health and Wellnesses Resources page on the district website. Monte Vista Elementary School has a new ride that is making special deliveries to nearly 70 families in the neighborhood. This bookmobile idea was spearheaded by Crescenta Valley High School student Aiden Marriott. Over the summer, he railed support from the community and was able to get a van donated by High Star Auto Sales. The next time you see the bookmobile, give school librarian Lisa Marriott a wave. She delivers Monte Vista Ele Elementary books to 70 families. There are currently 1,500 circulating in the neighborhood. It wouldn't be possible without the support from Crescenta Valley High School students who have been volunteering and giving their time to deliver these books. And even to local community members who help sanitize and process the books. In-person athletic conditions for fall sports resumed at Glendale Unified's three high schools starting last week. The fall sports include football, cross country, water polo, volleyball, and cheer at Crescenta Valley, Glendale, and Hoover High Schools. The athletic conditioning takes place after school hours and participation is voluntary for athletes and coaches. To read the full press release, head to GUSD.net. We are hosting virtual tours for our flag dual immersion programs. The Glendale Unified School District offers seven languages that students can start learning in kindergarten. You can apply today as enrollment is now underway. To find out more, sign up for a tour at www.gusc.net slash flag tours. One of the things that research has shown for dual immersion is that students are able to use both sides of their brain as they're acquiring a language. We start to see this growth in other areas of the educational arena. It might be in math class, it might be in their sciences, because they're better cognitively by developing these stronger connections to both sides of the brain. I think we expected, based on brain research, to see the cognitive benefits at some point in a student's career, but surprisingly, even at a younger age, we see the benefits. Our students perform as well, oftentimes better than their English counterparts. Your world is limited by your language. So if you are able to open up your ability to embrace other languages and learn other languages, your world is opened up that much more. That's it for this week's news. The board meeting will continue shortly.